Hello YouTube. I'm Ruman Karim and here I am with another movie DVD review. Um this movie is Home Alone 3. Why? Well, I thought I did Home Alone 4, so might as well just go backwards to the first one cuz you know the first one's the best and the last one was the worst. <coughs> as you all know. So, I thought might as well just do Home Alone 3. So, as you know, we have our typical character. We have Kevin, uh, Buzz, Meg, his mom and dad. What? What what do you mean? They changed the characters. What, what does that mean? Alex? What do you, This is Home Alone 3. Yeah, ho, What do you mean Home Alone 3 has nothing to do with the movies? What? Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that Home Alone 3 changed its characters, just has the same name and kind of the same plot. Really? Really? He has to stop four criminals for a chip. They can stop any missile, and his name is Alex, but he still has the same brother and sisters, Buzz and Meg, and the parents aren't divorced. Divorced. What? What? So, I guess our new main character, Alex, has to stop four criminals. For a chip that stops any missiles in the world. Are you sure this is the right movie, Home Alone 3? Home Alone 3, are you sure? Uh, okay, I mean... So, it's Alex, he lives in Chicago, and apparently... Okay, so apparently these four criminals have lost a chip that can stop any missile in the world, and eventually it leads up into the Chicago suburb. And, well, I guess Alex has the chip, but they move into the suburbs... And just like trash every house looking for it. Well, not trash, but they go through every house. And Alex calls the cops, but they think he's lying. Are you sure this is the same movie, Home Alone Three? Are you sure? Okay, I still can't see the plot. I All right. So I guess one day Alex gets sick with the chicken pox, and um, both his parents have to go out. Oh, okay, I see. All right, I see where it's going. All right. So both his parents have to go out, and you know he's like alone, and. He can do anything. He's a uh, goes up to regular shenanigans like you know, changing a neighbor's TV because you know, that's fun, for a sick kid to do. On a normal day, I do that always. But, so I guess one day he noticed one of the criminals in the house, and he calls the cops. Like I said, and they don't believe him, and then I guess the parents for some reason leave him home again, because you know the first time turned out so well. And they tell him to take care, but of course, thinking he'll listen. And, you know, eventually he figures out that they're going to hit every house until they find something. And eventually he finds out it's a toy car. The toy car, really? Toy, toy car, apparently. And apparently the chip is in the toy car. So they're chasing it. And there are some weird, funny, I guess, no, supposed to be funny scenes. Um... It's really funny too, I mean, they're like the only four, because apparently, during the day, no one's home, because everyone's at work. Which is kind of true, but still, I'm, I'm sure someone would have noticed four people, unemployed, just walking around. Um, oh yeah, and a dog gets stolen, apparently. Um, it's, uh, makes me laugh, actually. A dog gets stolen, um, no one notices, not even a complaint. Oh yeah, funny part is... The kid, Alex, he also has a dog whistle. Like, he has no dog, but he has a dog whistle. <laughs> Who does that? You know, uh, he has a parrot, but he has a dog whistle. What, you want to buy parrot food? Uh, come on. I mean, he also eats cat food for fun, you know, because has a dog whistle, eats cat food. Drinks out of the toilet, I guess. So, yeah, the movie itself is just... Like any other movies, but I will give credit. The kid actually does something, but it's actually really weird because he pinpoints every step. And when I say every, literally, I'm meaning every step. Like there was one scene where, well, the lady's walking and the pot falls on her face, literally, directly. It looks like he knows everything. And, you know, people get burned, get hit by books. Uh, well, a lot of stuff. And he ends up just catching all four of them. Eventually. Well, actually, they catch three. The fourth one hides. But somehow, the awesome trained pirate can drive a RC, light a match, blow everything up, and then leave. 
eventually catching him, which is weird. And that's it. That's Home Alone 3. It has nothing to do with Home Alone 1, 2, or 4. Just the same plot, but not even the same characters. They kept the sisters and brothers name, Buzz and Megan. Come on. Seriously, you had to change? And it's like, what's what was the point of putting a chip in there? Like, seriously, what is this, a G.I. Joe mission? Oh, find the chip, Alex. Eight-year-olds. Eight-year-olds saving the world. Are you serious? Did we learn nothing from baby geniuses? I guess not, because, you know, Home Alone 3. But I will say it was much better than Home Alone 4. At least he did something. And the parents don't notice either. I mean, like, they don't question him, really. I mean, once they find him, they're really happy he's safe, which I would be too. But, you know, he trashes the whole house. He he cuts a hole in the house. Seriously. How can you do that without no one noticing? How big is that house? I mean, if it happened in Home Alone 4, it makes sense. It's a mansion. I mean, you know, I'm sure you don't pay attention to one little room. But it's a regular two-story house. How do you not notice a big hole in a two-story house? And the kid's sick, too. Why are his parents always leaving him? And even better, the last scene was during a blizzard, too. Why would you leave your kid in a blizzard? Seriously, sure you have to do work, but stay with your kid. It's a freaking blizzard. You know you won't be able to come back. But no. I guess this movie didn't have to put any sense into it, of course. I mean, why would we want sense? It doesn't make sense. So yeah, that's Home Alone 3, basically. It's about a kid who stops four international criminals who are probably, like, so dangerous. Just, like, putting up traps, pinpointing every move they make. And his right, of course, Doris. Really, this movie was, like, it, it was weird. I ain't gotta admit. I mean, it had nothing to do with the Home Alone movies, like I said, and it just... It might keep you entertaining, entertained at whiles, but seriously, it's just, like, tries too hard. So, that's my review of Home Alone 3. Next will be Home Alone 2, which is slightly, and when I mean slightly, slightly better. So, thank you, YouTube, and I'm Ruman Kareem.